Welcome back. Um, not so good news today. I've got a bit of bit of bad news uh, about Harry. So means it'll follow us on social media. I'll probably know what's what's coming and how it's going down. Um, yeah, we'll fill you in on that. Other than that, we've been busy with this. So first things first, um, the main reason I didn't get a video out last week was because unfortunately some absolute knacker in a hire van has decided to rear end Harry, my wife's car. Yeah, this is this is what I've done to the car. Um, I know it doesn't look too bad, to be fair, on my first sight I thought we'll put a light lens in, give the bumper a repaint, knock this in, a little bit of filler in there and we'll be laughing when you actually get a look down it. You can see they've creased it out here and here so this whole back corner has actually shunted in a tiny little bit um that and the fact that i know this paddle's already had bodywork done here where the, the transit hit a couple of years ago so yeah unfortunately the insurance company has decided the car is no longer worthy of the road so i will be breaking it for parts if anybody needs anything for this the whole car's available um Minus a few parts, because obviously I'm starting to sell them off now as we speak. Uh, so yeah, if anybody wants anything, don't forget to hit us up. Just hit us up on uh, any of my social media, Facebook, Instagram, or on YouTube. Cheers. Unfortunately, that is now officially a write-off. Um, as I say, the reason I didn't get any videos out this last, any video out this last week, is because we basically spent a week going looking for cars, because we need to now find her a new car, because... Uh, Unfortunately, Harry's, as I say, Harry's a bit crinkled on the back end now, and uh, the insurance company have said, no more, it's done, finished. It's a write-off, so, yeah, a little bit gutted about that, not half as gutted as my wife is, but, you know, what are you going to do? You know, the only way is forward at this point. So, yeah, thank you, Mr. Enterprise Man, you absolute tool for basically not having a clue how to drive. However, on the plus side, I've been sort of in between jobs. I've been trying to plough on a bit with this. Um, as you can see, I've got the underside, half this half of the underside in primer. The rear chassis leg is now done. Um, cleaned up and done. I'm very happy with that. I've also managed to plate up the inside of this. Now, as much as it was just a straight plate, I don't know if you can see or not, right here. Yeah, that was that was fun because it not only bends that way, but when you get into the strut part, it bends down over as well. So I've had to kind of flex and shape the plate as best I can. However, it's done and on. I've got I've got the bottom half of this plate now, which I've just made. Um, there it is. There. Uh, for those of you at home that don't have a bead roller. And need to make beads. All I've, all I've done to get them in is just I've just literally knocked this up. It's just a little block of steel, a couple of bolts welded on, ground back so the threads don't show through, and then just lay the plate on top of there, and then take my favourite tool of the moment, which is this one, and just. knock down into it it will give you the shape of it will give you the shape of the the beads being in there fair enough it's a little bit on the crude side but it works it does the job once it's on a ground down to be fair once the wheels on you'll probably never even see it but I'll know it's there and I'll know it's done so while I'm waiting on the primer setting up on that Next thing I'm going to do, I think, because once this is on, that's this back corner finished. Um, from there, I think we're going to move on to the front. So what I'm going to try and do now is actually remove the scuttle panel, the front part of the scuttle panel. Uh, let's have a look. I to, excuse the phone beep, but it's kind of a bit of a hectic day. What I'm going to do now is try and remove this carefully, because obviously I need to get into here to get some repairs done. Eventually, I'm going to need to get into the battery tray as well so i figure the easiest way is just got to be to remove this 
So I think that's what we're going to do now. So we'll uh, we'll start and dig in. Hopefully, not cause too much damage. My phone lights up, but it's never you. I can't help but feel so lonely. And all these things that I can't undo. I'm falling apart so slowly. Come alive when we're faded. The summer nights that we're chasing. What this feeling to last forever? horrible to do but we're, we're slack on this side now now I've got to try and undo what somebody has previously done quite badly and check and see how far up the battery tray goes because hopefully I'm making away with just just whipping this grinder straight along there and just cutting the piece off um, see how we get on but up till now it's not destroyed which I'm pretty, pretty pleased with that took some doing this side, obviously I know I need to do a few repairs in here, That's that was a given. Um, this side I thought was horrible to come with, that side was even worse. Thanks to somebody in the past who's just welded up a patch. It looked lovely from the outside, but that's what an inch of filler will do for you. Um, so yeah, a little bit of repair work to do today. I've got to flatten that edge back off, I had a bit of trouble getting them spots out. And I'll have to see what where the battery tray actually comes to on this side to do all that. But other than that, that's it out. Maybe there's a little bit of repair work he had to do as well. But to be fair, I'm thinking about maybe he's just chopping his whole weld out and redoing redoing this part of the panel here. But I mean that's it out. Uh, so yeah, that can uh, means we can now plot on and get on with the repairs on this side because the back is just about done and then that'll be half the half the floor pan done there we go i think that's enough for today um as i said we're getting that out we've just about finished on the back i've got that one plate to weld on once the primer set up be like probably monday i'm guessing all schedule planning on account of the fact that you know my backwards and forwards looking at cars so i don't know content may be a little bit slow at the minute um I would take these along with us to go look at some of these cars, but my God, honestly, I wonder sometimes what people are thinking when they're trying to sell cars. We've had a few, we've had a couple of cars now we've been to where the guy hasn't even given us the address. It's literally just given us a street. We pulled up in the posh, the posh street where the car's parked, and he's getting rid of another car. So yeah, we, of course, I'm going to hand over a lump of money to a random stranger in the street on account of his cars there. You know, like makes you wonder what they're thinking. So yeah. We're doing a lot of car hunting at the minute. I'll try and get on as much as I can with this, obviously, just to keep things rolling. Uh, as I say, I've got that plate to finish off at the back, so I'll get that done this week. I've got the scuttle covers out now, um, so hopefully I can make a start getting this corner here repaired. Pretty happy with how progress is going at the minute. Once once this corner's repaired, I can flip it the other way and start on the other side and get the dagger. I get to do it all again. Yay! So, yeah, um... Thanks for watching if you made it through this far through the video. Uh, I'd just like to thank all the new subscribers. It's, it, it all does make a difference, as I keep saying. So, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.